Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com, and these are Drake Snowboard Bindings. We used to carry a Drake a long time ago, now we're going to carry him again, uh, and that's a good thing. This is the Reload, this is a Super Sport. They're both designed for all mountain freestyle use for beginner to advanced level riders, and they have a lot of adjustability, a lot of similarities, and a couple of differences. Um, uh, starting off though, you know, even though they are like both all mountain freestyle uh, bindings, I'd have to say this one is kind of like a little bit more freestyle. This one's just a little bit more all mountain. Um, the Super Sport is uh, slightly stiffer, a little bit more responsive because of the high back and a little bit more support in that ankle strap. Whereas the Reload is going to be a little bit softer. It's, it's still medium flex, but it's going to be just a touch softer than uh, than the Super Sport. Uh, the similarities, I'm just going to kind of like walk through those one by one, and then show you the differences after that. Uh, the base plate are really the thing that make both of these bindings stand out. Um, it's called the lightsaber base plate. It has a fully adjustable heel loop and a toe ramp. Uh, this uh, aluminum heel loop and the uh, nylon uh, reinforced glass composite base plate have a lifetime uh, warranty on them. The coolest thing about it though is they have these like little release tabs for adjustability that allow you to like put this heel loop in two different positions. Same thing with uh, the toe ramp, there's actually three different positions there. Um, but if, you're, if your feet grow and you need bigger boots, well, don't worry about getting a new pair of bindings. Get one of these two and just adjust your bindings out to accommodate your boot size. Both of uh, the bindings feature a classic style disc. This is a disc that's compatible with 3D mounting system, 2x4 and 4x4 systems, but not the channel. If you need a channel disc, Make sure to contact Drake directly and ask for the ultimate disc. And then there's the footbeds, both on the Super Sport and the Reload. Um, it's, it has an auto cant system to it. It's naturally canted to align your ankles, your knees, and your hips together. And as you see, it's got a lot of like, a thick cushioning. And in the heels, which is a nice little bonus, there's kind of like a softer addition of a padding uh, to absorb uh, impacts when you're landing. Uh, along with that is a is this base plate has an underfoot kind of dampening system, kind of like a bushing, and the only section that actually touches your board is basically the ring that's around the disc. So there is a little bit like, like torsional free play, but there's still this pretty good edge to edge response because the high backs, you know, will lock it into place. Okay, um, pretty much the only other two main things that make them similar are, are the magnesium buckles and the toe strap. The toe strap is called the toe glove. And it has like a kind of a cord out center to it. And then it also has uh, additional padding in those uh, high pressure point areas where the ladder and the buckles kind of rest on, uh, on the strap. Uh, they're convertible, so that means you can like put them on top of your foot or you can wear them on the front of your toes. I prefer to wear them actually on the front of my toes. Now the biggest differences though uh, are the, the high backs and of course the ankle straps. The Reload has a spade, which is asymmetrical style of shaping. Have a little bit more uh, kind of like support along the top side. A um, little bit softer along the top, like overall, than the Super Sports Prime High Back. The Prime High Back has like this like nice little center spine, but also has like an additional pieces on the side that really keep it uh, kind of a little bit more torsionally rigid. Both straps, as you see, kind of feature like a kind of like a little cupping to it. Um, I'd say the Reload has a little bit more but they do have a little bit uh, kind of like more support on the medial side than the lateral side, which is kind of unique for bindings because most support on bindings high back is actually on the lateral side or the outside of where the binding is closer to your nose and your tail. And lastly is uh, the straps. The Super Strap, uh, or the Super Sport actually has a what's called a GT ankle strap. Um, I like it. It's a it's a kind of like a little bit more uh, firm than what you find on the. Uh, on the reload, uh, the reload actually has a, what's called infinite. It's cored out in the center. There's like kind of like dual density, a neoprene style backing, and it kind of is a, just a little bit softer. Um, the kind of the weird thing about the Super Sport is this like plastic piece over the top. Not really sure what that's supposed to do besides I like kind of like guide that ladder inside. If I had them, I'd probably just like cut them off. Overall, though, um, great bindings. They really are. Well, both of them have a lot of tools adjustability. Basically everything is uh, tools except for like actually mounting the bindings on your board. Uh, the Super Sport, a little bit more for that all mountain, like all mountain freestyle rider. And uh, for the Reload, it's a, for all mountain spectrum, uh, for free, a little bit more for freestyle. Uh, both great bindings of course, and you can check them out at uh, thehouse.com. If you want to check out more Drake reviews, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and feel free to ask any questions you may have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys around.